Today's video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. Today's video we will simply be speaking about a program called MAME. We will talk about what the program does, and what it is used for. What is MAME? MAME is a multi-purpose emulation framework. MAME's purpose is to preserve decades of software history. As electronic technology continues to rush forward, MAME prevents this important, vintage, software from being lost and forgotten. This is achieved by documenting the hardware and how it functions. The source code to MAME serves as this documentation. The fact that the software is usable serves primarily to validate the accuracy of the documentation. How else can you prove that you have recreated the hardware faithfully? MAME's main purpose is to be a reference to the inner workings of the emulated machines. This is done both for educational purposes and for preservation purposes, in order to prevent historical software from disappearing forever once the hardware it runs on stops working. Of course, in order to preserve the software and demonstrate that the emulated behavior matches the original, one must also be able to actually use the software. This is considered a nice side effect, and is not MAME's primary focus. It is not MAME's intention to infringe on any copyrights or patents on the original software and systems. All of MAME's source code is either MAME's own or freely available. To operate, the emulator requires images of the original ROMs, CDs, hard disks or other media from the machines, which must be provided by the user. No portions of the original software are included in the MAME executable. MAME is made available at no cost. Its source code is freely available. The project as whole is distributed under the terms of the new general public license, version 2 or later, GPL 2.0 plus, but most of code, including core functionality, is also available under the terms of the more permissive 3 clause BSD license, BSD 3 clause. ROM, CD, hard disk and other media images are all copyrighted material. They may not be lawfully distributed without the explicit permission of the copyright holders. They are not abandonware, nor has copyright expired on any of the software supported by MAME. MAME is not intended to be used as a tool for mass copyright infringement. Therefore, it is strongly against the author's wishes to sell, advertise, or link to resources that provide illegal copies of ROM, CD, hard disk or other media images. Because the name MAME is trademarked, you must abide by the rules set out for trademark usage if you wish to use MAME as part of the name or derivative work. In general, this means you must request permission, which requires that you follow the guidelines MAME adheres to. The version number of any derivative work should reflect the version number of the MAME release from which it was, was derived. I believe right now is the perfect time to speak about today's sponsor, BrightVPN. BrightVPN is a completely free, completely anonymous VPN, that can protect you and your family as you surf the internet. Many VPN services claim to be anonymous, and claim to keep your footprint off of the net, but how's that possible if they ask for an email or credit card? If your internet and personal security are important, then I urge you to give BrightVPN a try. You can find the download link in the description to this video. MAME, formerly an acronym which stood for Multi-Arcade Machine Emulator, documents and reproduces through emulation the inner components of arcade machines, computers, consoles, chess computers, calculators, and many other types of electronic amusement machines. As a nice side effect, MAME allows to use on a modern PC those programs and games which were originally developed for the emulated machines. At one point there were actually two separate projects, MAME and MESS. MAME covered arcade video games, while MESS covered home and business systems. 
They are now merged into the one MAME. MAME is written in C++ and can currently emulate over 32,000 individual systems from the last five decades. The primary purpose of MAME is to preserve decades of arcade, computer, and console history. As technology continues to rush forward, MAME prevents these important, vintage systems from being lost and forgotten. The arcade database contains a complete list of the systems currently emulated. As you will notice, being supported does not always mean that the status of the emulation is perfect. You may want 1. To check the status of the emulation in the wiki pages of each system, accessible from the drivers page. 2. To read the corresponding sysinfo.dat entry in order to better understand which issues you may encounter while running a system in MAME. Alternatively, you can simply see the status by yourself, launching the system emulation and taking a look at the red or yellow warning screen which appears before the emulation starts, if any. Notice that if you have information which can help to improve the emulation of a supported system, or if you can directly contribute fixes and or addition to the current source, you can do any of the following. Send in a pull request or open an issue on our GitHub page. Post the information or code on the main forums. Follow the instructions on our contact page. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend.